Welcome back guys, today we are installing Pi-hole. There is no real introduction required, but it is a sinkhole to block out ads, any malicious websites, and the main feature I want to use it for is it's got an inbuilt DNS server, so I don't have to remember IPs, I just remember the host name. So let's crack into it. The prerequisites. You need a VM or a physical hardware that has at least one virtual CPU or one CPU, two gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of storage. So next, what we're going to do is SSH into our server and we're going to do an update as well as an upgrade. The second step is installing dependencies which is curl git and next what we're doing is downloading the pi-hole installer itself the initial time is you install it it will take quite a bit of time but I have already pre-downloaded all of the files. So welcome to the home page. This is a installer for Pi-hole. It is a network wide ad blocker. Okay. It is free and there's donations in this link. You require a static IP, continue. And let's choose a upstream DNS provider. This will import the default block list from Stephen Black's unified host list. I'll click on yes. Do we want the web interface? Yes, we do. The web server? Yes, we do. As well as we want to enable the logging. We want to show everything. This will take our settings and start compiling the configuration files. This may take several minutes depending on your hardware as well as your internet speed. So let it install configure and we'll continue on shortly. Once your PyHole has installed correctly and successfully, you will see the following screen. Take note of your IP version 4 and your URL for and the password. Next, what we'll do is do a initial configuration of the OS layer. The first thing what we're going to do is create a service which will allow PyHole to do updates automatically. And this is what we'll be pasting in. Once you paste it in, go exit two dots, right quick, exclamation mark. Next what we're going to do is reload systemd with the following command. And we're going to start the service. We'll use the following command to ensure it starts at boot. And that is the service account completed. Next, let's change that ridiculous password to a password we can remember with the following command. Type in your password, it's not going to be showing. And confirm your password. You'll be prompted with new password set if it is matching. Let's crack on with the PyHole web interface configuration. You can throw in your IP with the forward slash admin and you'll be prompted with the login page. We're going to authenticate with the password we just created. And what we'll do is go through the ad list. By default, you're going to have one ad list. And what we're going to do is 
go to this site here. This is a collection from various people and what we'll be going is highlighting a couple and we're going to show you how to add them to make your ad list more this can be done by pasting the address and you can give it a comment if you like there we go suspicious one and when it's added it'll show below Let's go suspicious two and grab the second one and click on add. You can add as many or as little, however, more is not always better as you may be getting false positives. The list itself will include suspicious lists, advertisements, tracking, malicious, etc. So let's test it out. We're going to go to MSN to verify what ads there are. And as we can see, we've got ads up here and ads down the side. So what we want to do is go to settings oops wrong one go to the go to your ip version 4 settings and we're going to set the preferred dns as the ip of your pi hole server and i've got my secondary as my router but that can be deleted now so this will ensure everything is going through the pie hole let's test it out now by opening up a different browser that has nothing cached i'll be using microsoft edge and if i type in msn We can see there is no banner up here as well as down the side. If we go back to our initial browser, this is the comparison. So that is the ad blocking feature. If we go back to PyHome monitoring and go to local DNS, DNS records. We can see we've got no records so what we'll be doing is adding a domain name or a name we can remember to a very corresponding ip so what do i mean by that if you open up a cmd browser and go pin an ip in your network you can see it's online and if we do an as lookup we can see it doesn't belong to an existing domain let's copy this ip and let's give it a name so this ip is my proxmos server and the name is alpha01 so I'm going to be calling it Proxmox Alpha and click on add. If we verify the listing, the list, it appears. And if we go back to our command prompt and do a NS lookup. Give it a few seconds and we can see it is resolving now. So by creating a DNS record, you no longer have to remember IPs. 
you give it a name you will remember and you can verify what IP it is. So thank you for joining us for the installation configuration of the OS as well as the Pi-hole web interface itself. Let me know what else you want to see in the next videos. Until then, stay safe.